Well, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Rao, and this week I'm going to feature a build here of a 69 Boss 429 Mustang. And this is uh, one of my favorite cars. It's just a car that I just love because it's it's so subtle, but it's so out there. And it's just jaw-dropping to look at, especially when you look at the engine because the engine is the, the main piece of this, and it's kind of a piece of art. But the fact that Ford even built this car is kind of crazy for, you know, a, a NASCAR motor that they designed for racing in NASCAR. And they didn't even race the Mustang in NASCAR. So the fact that they, they put this in this car instead of the uh, Torino. But I don't think the 429 would fit in anything in 1969. It would have to be uh, shoehorned in. But I think it might have been easier to put it in a Torino. The 70 Torino... And like the 71 Mustang, their engine compartments were much bigger and could house this motor. But uh, these cars in 69 uh, could not. So a matter of fact, Ford had commissioned a car craft to actually cram this motor into this car. Which meant they really had to shoehorn the, the shock towers and move the shock towers in and do quite a bit of things to it to get it in there. And it required a special... Um, control arms and spindles and some other parts that were also made for the car uh, besides just getting the motor in there but when it came to the motor itself it's a, a very special motor and there's a number of features one of the things is there's no head gaskets it has aluminum heads sealed to an iron block but they o-ring grooves everything so each one of the oil uh, ports and coolant ports has O-rings on it. I think I read somewhere like 18 O-rings per side or something like that or total. And even the cylinders have a steel, uh, stainless steel O-ring that drops in there to seal the, the combustion chamber. So kind of a, a, an exotic design even for back then. But it was uh, quite the, you know, it was, it was a racing motor. It was not designed for the street. So a pretty, pretty wild motor. But it was designed to handle about 8,000 RPM. But Ford had put a 735 CFM carburetor on the streetcars. And they also put a, a nice hydraulic cam. And it was rated at 375 horsepower and 450 foot-pounds of torque. And this thing was like $5,000 to buy. So it was uh, more money than a Mach 1. Came with like less features. And it was um, underrated. Like I said, it rated at... Uh, uh, 375 horsepower and just just a pretty costly car and I understand it handled pretty good but that was a big heavy motor in the front and they did what they could to make it handle better and it, it did pretty well but you know the Mach 1 with the 428 was probably a better buy and more people kind of went with it especially for a car like this that wasn't advertised and only 859 of them were built so quite a rare car and to me it's kind of funny it is very subtle the only thing that gives it away is, of course, the Boss 429 emblem on the fender. And then the big massive hood scoop, which also had a manual operating um, valve in it. So you can pull a cable and open the valve to get fresh air into it or close it off to, to keep it uh, out of there. So that was manually operated. One other thing that was interesting, too, to me, the option list was kind of slim. The colors were very limited on this car. It was available in Wimbledon White, Raven Black, Royal Maroon, which is what I wanted to replicate here. Also came in Black Jade, which was a green color, and Candy Apple Red, the, the bright red. So five colors, and a little piece of trivia for you. None of those colors rolled over into the 70 Boss 429. So there are no colors shared between the 69 Boss 429 and the 70 Boss 429. I thought at least white and black, but white and black were not available on the 70. And then the other colors were not available in 70. You couldn't get a red 70. Uh, you couldn't get an orange 69. So that's very interesting to me. And there was only one interior color, black. That was it for 69. 70 you can get black or white. But in 69, black interiors only. And every one of these Boss 429s was a 4-speed. So no automatic trannies, of course. So I got the manual tranny in there. And since I'm looking at the underside, just... Um, one thing with this the Boss 429 it had like small little resonator mufflers and it had a transverse muffler so this exhaust system that I got here isn't technically correct but since I used the Mach 1 and I just adapted that to fit 
and it looked pretty pretty good so I kind of left it but I didn't know that at the time when I was building this and I don't think I would fix it anyway and put the transverse muffler in there but you know, I really enjoyed building this but to give you an idea this is Ravel's 69 uh, Mach 1 which they give you the 428 engine in that model kit and this one really wasn't that hard to build you would think it was because I also used the engine from the Ravel monogram 70 boss 429 and that motor you know actually fit it's kind of surprising now not easily but not as bad as you would think i got the motor in there but you got to be very careful in fitting as you can see that air cleaner is pretty high so you see that it, it's really high so you have to cut the hole in the hood but you need to make sure that hole is in the right spot and that's the hood scoop from the 70 put it on there and I even put the notch in there so it would fit just like that but just careful shaving and trimming and getting it to line up and it fit right in there the other thing I had to do to the body was remove the battery the battery is actually in the trunk on this car they, they put the factory battery in the trunk and I understand that because of the air cleaning and the snorkel on the rear car um, some of that stuff was just in the way so they just moved the battery to the back it's just a little easier to do that now, not too many Fords came with the battery all the way back there. But uh, getting this thing built, other than you know getting some of those parts to fit, this was a pretty easy build. Now, I will say, that engine, I built the engine, but um, I did not glue the heads or the valve covers on the engine until I was uh, doing final assembly, because I left those off, and I left those things off, so it doesn't fit inside the inner fenders. Uh, very well it pretty much just rubs so um, I left the brake booster off left these off glued it all together then I glued the top engine the top half of the engine in there and got it all to fit so it fit in there fairly well so it was a lot of um, just tight fitting but I got it to fit in there and um, I'm pretty happy with it and then I put the little bit bigger tires on it they're kind of somewhat out of scale since this is like a 125th and and uh, the other one is 124th but it all worked out really well now of course it has uh, the famed uh, front end that doesn't quite look right it kind of looks sad and I've got the resin conversion to fix it um, but since they came out with the Boss 302 they have that front end also but I will tell you this hood doesn't fit that um, front end as well um, the hood's actually longer so kind of a surprise there but uh, really happy with this one really like this one my paint job isn't the best as you can see it's got some fading where it's got some dark areas and some light areas and some um, lighter areas in the around the scoop where I painted the scoop in place just didn't work out real well and if I remember right this is kind of like a candy paint and uh, spray painted didn't really airbrush this one or if I airbrushed it it didn't quite do um, as good of a job as I could have it's probably the paint I was using but I built this probably close to 20 years ago now um, quite a while ago I love the build I want to rebuild it because I can make it a lot better and I even have uh, scale finishes paint in that royal maroon color to, to be the accurate color because this isn't the the true color but it's what I used I, I like the way it looks and I really like that color I also like that black jade color and that's kind of a dark green color um, and it's uh, not a bright green either it's a um, like I said it's jade but it's kind of a grayish green uh, but I, I love that color as well but I really like this royal maroon uh, spoiler fit uh, window slats didn't fit you can make them fit but now the, the Boss 302 kit comes with them, so you can add those if you wanted to uh, from that kit. But I didn't have to do any other mods to this body. Everything just pretty much went right in. And um, the only thing I could think of is I think I may have had to fill in uh, right here. Yeah, I did. I had to fill in where the exhaust came through because it had turn downs instead of exhaust tips on the uh, Boss 429. But like I mentioned, I didn't do... The most accurate exhaust the rest of the interior is pretty much just uh kind of like a normal mach 1 but it's black comfort weave on the real car so this one's got the roll bar in there that shouldn't be in there it's got some of the shelby parts that uh the kit has 
that I didn't fix back then. That's another thing that I, I kind of want to redo and I redo it. Fix the console, fix the roll bar like I did with uh, my Boss 302. Maybe fix the front end a little bit. But the main thing is just the, the color shadowing on the paint is the main reason why I want to just redo this one. Uh, pull it apart and strip it so I don't have to really fit everything again like I did the first time build it. Uh, I don't want to track down a couple more kits to do it. Uh, I could, but that's just me. Um, but I'm real happy with this one. I figured I would uh, show this one off to you guys for this weekend. Something a little different. And, uh, you know, talk a little bit about this one. But just, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. I'll redo this one, and Ravel will come out with a Boss 429 version uh, of their own to start selling you. But this one really wasn't too bad as far as doing the conversion, getting the engine to fit, getting that air cleaner, and getting everything mocked up, and getting that hole into the hood, and then, you know, getting the scoop on. Once I got that figured out and the hood figured out, it was pretty easy to build swapping the motor and you know pretty much the motor and the mounts all fit I think I had to shorten the drive shaft just a tad and then the, the rear balance panel just filling in the exhaust tips uh, went really really well so definitely one of my favorites but uh, just the, the quality of the paint job you know not not my best and I know I can do so much better with this particular one so it drives me you know crazy a little bit on this one want to redo it but the lights are really showing you my paint job on this one but I uh, just wanted to show this one off to you guys and see what you guys think of it especially for one of my earlier conversions and kit bashes definitely not my first but one of my earlier ones but uh, thank you for tuning in subscribing and all your comments I really appreciate it and you guys you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next Saturday <music>